Yeah, I think that that's my favorite part, is the part of doing the second act between me and Dracula. Because I think you don't get an opportunity all the time in ballet to create something that is real. And it's a real man and a real woman. And it's not like, you know, Romeo and Juliet, fresh love or romance. It's, it's something deeper and less emotional, but richer. I'm David Nixon. I am the choreographer of Dracula. And I was the artistic director of Ballet Met Columbus uh, for six and a half years, actually. I had no idea Dracula was going to be the success. In fact, I was really scared it was going to just fall flat because it, it, it could have. Um, and it could have because people had an expectation of more of a horror kind of story than what it is and the, the way it came out. So it's always been such a comfort as a choreographer to think that you have created something that not only really people enjoy and can enjoy over and over, but that as a work, it, it just keeps going. And the same thing happened in um, the United Kingdom in, in Leeds, when we do it at the Playhouse. It's full, like, and it's a different audience. That's what I love about it, is that the title just attracts a different group of people who aren't going to come to Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella, but they are going to come to this, they're interested, what have you done to this story, you know? I haven't seen it so much anymore, but in the early years, there were a lot of goths that came in England. They'd be all dressed up, and I just loved that. I, I, I loved that sense of event for it. So I know I did not expect it to become the success it has been, and I'm, I'm just so grateful that it has. So we, we are making some adaptations, so it's not exactly the original version that I did here in, what was it, 1999 or something, yeah. Anybody who saw it a lot will probably clock it more than anybody coming for the first time. It's just going to be a, a fresh experience for them.